Well, we're back now at 430 and we can tell you these drought conditions across the region are getting worse. We haven't had any measurable rain for the entire month of October and so far there's none in the forecast for the foreseeable future. Meteorologist Grant Gilmore joins us now from the next weather sphere. And Grant, what would really need to happen here to be able to rebound from a drought like this? Guys, at this point, every single day that goes by, it gets harder and harder and harder to get back out of the drought and then start talking about maybe seeing, you know, good conditions going into next spring. We're at the point now where I'm looking ahead to March and April to where if something doesn't change anytime soon, we got a problem. Let me show you this latest drought monitor just came out today. OK, and I mean, what you would expect is that, well, the drought spreads and then the drought worsens across the area. Delaware, severe drought, most of Delaware in a severe drought. You've got South Jersey. Uh, well, you're talking about 35% of the entire area now in a severe drought, but now even portions of southeastern Pennsylvania in the suburbs. You're in a moderate to severe drought. So we're at the point now where we're really looking at conditions getting worse and getting worse fast. 77% of the entire Philadelphia area now considered to be in a moderate drought. 35% of that now in a severe drought. Here's how it looks on our map here. You see those those tans and those oranges are really taking over much of the area. We've gone 26 straight days without receiving a drop of rainfall. Yeah, there are a couple of sprinkles with that cold front that came through this morning, but nothing measurable out at the airport. The record stretch of dry conditions here in Philadelphia is 29 straight days, so we need the rain, right? Well, how much rain? That's the question. How much rain will it take for us to come out of the drought? Well, it's actually a pretty staggering number here. If you look across New Jersey, parts of Delaware, even into southeastern Pennsylvania, we need six to nearly nine inches of rain over the course of a month for us to get out of these drought conditions. So let's say, all right, that seems unreasonable, right? Because we just haven't had rain recently. Let's say by the time we start off 2025, if we want to get rid of the drought, over the next couple of months, we would need nearly 11 and a half inches of rain across South Jersey here in southeastern Pennsylvania, nearly 10 and a half inches of rain going into the new year for us to end the drought. And that looks highly unlikely. I will say that because we're going into the drier months. November averages 2.91 inches of rain. December only averages 3.97 inches of precipitation. So guys, we could use a good dose of rain maybe every other week but it's just not in the forecast. We are dry and we're getting drier and drier as the days go by. Oh my goodness. That's All right. Yeah, thank you so much, Grant.